and welcome to another gaming video uh, and today I want to talk about how well, the prices for DS consoles and DS games has, has started to increase and it's starting to increase quite a bit. You kind of get three phases with gaming uh, and consoles. You get brand new where it's out and everybody wants one. Then you get to that older stage which is stage two where it's old, no one's really interested in it. Then you get to phase three where it sort of becomes trendy and retro and at the minute I think we're slightly in between at stage two and three but prices for consoles and games are going up. I've been buying DS's for many a years and a couple of years ago nobody was interested and in you just DS like people were giving them away charge from five ten pounds at most. Now they've kind of hit that spot where everyone wants one and prices of them are going up. 3DS's for example cost a fortune. A year ago I paid about £25 for one, now you're looking at about 60 just for a regular 3DS. I mean, if you're looking for one of the newer models they're ridiculous price. And the same goes for games. There's always games for every console that nobody really wants. FIFA's for instance, uh, you can pick them up free 50p. And then there's the games that everyone wants and some of them cost a fortune, uh, especially for Nintendo consoles. Anything with Mario in will hold its price. If you're looking for something like uh, New Super Mario Bros or uh, Mario 64 DS, you're, you're easily looking over £10 at least for them. Some of the more rarer games cost a fortune. And it's the same with the 3DS, like New Super Mario Bros 2 or Super Mario 3D Land. They're starting to really ramp up the prices for them. So I don't think that the DS or the 3DS has quite hit that retro stage yet, but it's getting there. Everybody is now starting to pick up older models of the consoles, uh, the original DS, the DS Lite, the DSi, the 3DS, and even some of the sort of new 3DSs. Everyone really seems to be, it's the new trend, and I've noticed uh, on my travels and on my when I'm collecting things and I recently picked up the DSi but I only paid about £10 for it. Anywhere else you're, you're talking £30-£40 and these are consoles that are 15 plus years old some of them. They're fantastic consoles I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with them. As you know I'm a huge fan of the DS and all the different models. Uh, my collection is starting to grow and, it, and it's me growing this collection and looking around looking at local ads and eBay auctions and just general sales in places like CEX, they are really starting to skyrocket. So if you're looking to get into the DS market, now is the time to do it. You really should have gotten into it a few years back when nobody wanted them, games were dirt cheap, consoles were dirt cheap. Now I'm not sure whether it's because they're getting older and there's sort of less functioning or less uh, mint condition models around, but definite, definite price increase, a huge hike in consoles and games so if you want to start collecting them now is the time to let me know if you've noticed a, a price increase and whether you think that the DS is starting to get to that retro stage link like subscribe enjoy